You gotta do the go to school dance because I love that song. Tomorrow is the last day of school and I bet when kids hear that virtual school bell ring, they're gonna wanna start the summer by partying like rock stars. So we figured, how about to get a real lesson from an actual rock star, not me. Joining us now is drummer Rich Redman. Rich, how you, you look like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, how you doing? You got the tan, you got the hair, I love it. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, we're getting through this, aren't we? We are. And by the way, you play Vegas, of course, and you have basically toured with every big name in the business. You work a lot with, of course, Jason Aldean, but let's see, Garth Brooks, Kelly Clarkson, Brian Adams. I mean, it, Florida Georgia Line, Kelly Clarkson, at Ludacris. That's a good, that's a good list. <laughs> well, thanks so much. It's been, you know, it's just been a great calling. I've been playing the drums since dinosaurs roamed the earth, 1976. <laughs> been a great ride and, and not the Chris Pratt dinosaurs you're talking way back to the first Jurassic Park I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> you're right I had the plastic dinosaurs I still have them listen they're still in vogue and by the way what's really cool is you're not only a performing drummer but you actually do music education for kids yeah, yeah, I actually have my background in music education. I ended up getting my master's degree. I'm just overeducated rock drummer from the University of North Texas. And um, I actually got my teaching certificate to teach music and I, yeah, I love it. It's a real passion. And you have basically a lesson that you're gonna teach everyone today, big or small, right? Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, it's so funny. I had my camera set up like this. Everybody likes it like that. And I had a mount and everything. So I'm so sorry, I'm going rogue here. Um, but I'm just going That's fine. handheld, but yeah, but yeah, it's, um, I could teach, uh, some, some lessons on rhythm. If everybody wants to join in, we'd love that. Yeah. So I have a book called fun, capital F U N fundamentals of drumming for kids, uh, ages five to 10. It works for a five-year-old or also, it also works for a 50 year old man that acts like a five-year-old. But in that book, I talk to the kids about rhythm the history of percussion instruments, famous drummers. They have flashcards, there's pages, there's coloring pages. They learn about note values. And what's great about the book is that the, it gets the sticks in the kids' hands and they jump right on a set of drums, which I wish I had a full set here today, but I don't. I have this practice pad and this is very affordable. Hey, this is maybe like, I don't know, 70 or 80 bucks. You can get it on Amazon. And parents think that the drums are really loud, but look at that's not very loud at all. So usually what I do is I yeah. get the kids snapping or clapping in rhythm and so I'll, and they and they count. So we'll start with an exercise like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And then we just build on that. One, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three. Four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three. So right out of the gate, the kids are learning to, about rhythms and they're learning to read music, which is a skill that has saved me time and time again. Then I get the sticks in their hands and this is how I hold the stick. Basically, I have the first joint of the first finger. I have the thumb directly across from that. That's kind of like our pivot point. So I put a little pressure there. Then I have these three fingers and then these two fleshy lobes in the hand. I call them a mountain, a mountain and the river. The stick goes right there in that river. And then it's all about poetry and motion. Tension is bad and drumming. And then I get them to sit up close to the practice pad and then we just start making sounds. So then I would do that exercise with the sticks in their hands. One, two, three. A one and two and three. A one, two, three. A one and, and three. And then we get progressively more challenging. And then by the end of the book, the kids are playing drum solos, you know? So uh, it's a super fun thing. Love it. And I'm spitzing and when do we get a chance here. to learn when you, how you spin, you spin the sticks and then hit the drum? That's like the coolest that's the, part. <laughs> that's the first lesson. That is the first lesson right there. It's just like a kind of like a hula hoop activity where you put the uh, stick between these two first fingers and then you just try to get some energy going there. And there's a lot of failing going on. And then you get it to that point. And it's not a big deal. A lot of people are like, what are you doing back there, Rich? I'm like, oh, it's just this. But 20 rows back, well, it looks, it looks amazing. Cool. <laughs> Rich, thank you so much for your time. All the information are on your social platforms if you want to get the books and get more education. But thank you for your time. We hope to see you back on a live stage in Vegas very soon. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. You take.